What's up guys, this is Sammy Geek back here with a quick video and today's video is going to be a little bit for the haters on the Fold 4. I'm going to blast through a list of about 15 items that I think are going to make the Fold 4 better, uh, a significant upgrade from the Fold 3. Uh, if you look at Twitter, uh, a lot of the forums and so forth, a lot of people are asking right now like, hey, is this thing actually going to be worth it? And uh, there's a lot of haters coming out of the woodwork saying, no, 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 it's not going to be worth it. And boo, Samsung, you're not changing the game enough. I would never upgrade. I wouldn't make any changes here. Um, and I, I, I disagree with that entirely. So uh, if you guys saw my video that I posted last night, I created a uh, video uh, with the, comparing the Fold 3 case to the Fold 4 case. And I started to uncover some uh, more and more differences. And I decided I should probably make a list and say, all right, uh, what are the features that are going to make me upgrade and uh, what is why is it worth it? Why I think why do I think it's a little bit more than just an incremental upgrade? And the, there's a lot a long laundry list of items that are making it worthwhile. So let me run through this. I've got 15 items for you guys today. And uh, let's start with number one. Number one, the phone is wider. Number two, the phone is shorter. Let's stop there for a quick second. Because what does that mean, wider and shorter? Think about the three major complaints of the Fold, uh, Fold 3 when it came. Actually, just the Fold in general. Number one, the front screen was not usable enough. That's complaint number one. Number two, it's too heavy, too bulky, uh, hard. To, it's not very pocketable. That was complaint number two. C complaint number three is battery. And I think we're going to answer all of those. But the wider and shorter display, if you guys watch my other video, uh, as I held it in my hand, it, as a Fold user, uh, it's extremely noticeable. And uh, it's very, very welcome, I'll just say. I'm, I'm super psyched to get my hands on this new phone in combination with the hinge and some other things. Uh, it's gonna be a world of difference, I think. Um, but if you are to, let's say you're a new Fold user, you may not recognize the difference so much between like, okay, so let's, you're coming from a standard phone and you're gonna be using the Fold 4. Uh, it may not feel as significant of an upgrade. I would say the first week or two of being uh, a Fold owner, I was maybe a little bit more like the difficult part because you're getting used to the front screen, but then you get used to the front screen. And so any change of being wider and shorter is a welcome change, I will tell you that. All right, number three on the list, uh, better battery. That is the number three biggest complaint I think about the Fold device. Uh, listen better battery life, I should say, before you guys chew me out for that, because it is gonna have the same size battery, but there's a thing, there's a few things that are stacking up that are gonna make it have better better battery life. We'll kind of get to those on, a little bit further on the list. So again, 15 items that are making the fold better. Wider, shorter, better battery so far, brighter screen. Uh, for me, I had no complaints on the Fold 3. I think it was bright enough. It, mm, you know, in very, very bright sunlight, it might have been a little bit dim, but listen, there's uh, talks, we don't have exact specs right now, but there's talks that it will be uh, brighter than previous, and hey, I'll take it. Even if it was the same, I have no complaints, but I'll take a brighter screen. Uh, less crease. Um, maybe that's the fourth complaint, because sometimes people will complain about the crease. I've never, it's never really bothered me that much, but again, it's a welcome change, so this is starting to stack up, right? There's a lot of different changes here. Uh, more hidden internal camera. The under display camera on the inside is gonna be more hidden. It's gonna have double the pixels. Right now, again, I think they already did a great job with that. Um, if you're looking for it, you can kind of see a little bit of a sparkle. You guys will know what I'm talking about if you have the Fold 3. Uh, that should be uh, fixed for the Fold 4. Uh, it's gonna have at least double the pixels. It's not gonna be perfect. There's still gonna be haters and complainers, but it is uh, much better. So uh, next up, where are we? The, okay, so much better camera. So that I could make an entire video about the much better camera. Uh, we just talked about the under display camera on the interior, but the main shooters on this thing are gonna be that of the S22 Plus, I believe. So we're talking 50 megapixel uh, main shooter. Uh, we're talking, um, the other one that I'm excited about is gonna be the three times optical zoom. And uh, we're gonna see space zoom. I think it's 30 or 35 uh, space zoom, uh, space zoom. So you will actually have a much more usable zoom range, which will be nice because for framing your pictures and whatnot, um, I think it's really gonna help. Uh, so 
With that, uh, we're gonna have much better image processing. That is another thing on the list because I think uh, we're gonna see image quality as good as the S22 Ultra. Uh, we may not have that zoom capability, but the pictures are gonna be different than we see on the Fold 3 right now. They're gonna be more polished, the next level, the game is gonna be upped. And listen, if you guys have, if you guys are users of the Fold 3, you will recognize this as one of my very, very favorite features is taking pictures in kind of the four by three aspect ratio, uh, which most prof uh, professional photographers do, by the way, instead of the 16 by nine. Um, I like to show my family and friends the, the photos that I've taken on my phone. So I will open the phone, I'll turn it sideways, and, and it pretty much fills the entire screen. And unless you've experienced it, um, if, if you've experienced it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Let's just say if you haven't, go to the store, take some photos in the 4x3, turn the phone sideways and view your photos. You do that a few times and you're never going to go back to a slab phone. Uh, it's crazy. So better images, um, I mean, having a better shooter, better camera, a brighter screen. I mean, this is going to be epic when this full 4 comes out. Um just that picture is just awesome. So better chip is next on the list. Uh, the better chip is going to lead to a lot of things, faster performance and so forth, but it's going to have a significantly better chip. We're talking about items that are better than the Fold 3. What's what's being added to the list? What are you paying for? Uh, you're paying for a better chip. Better chip is going to lead to faster a faster phone, faster in general, faster processing. If you're a gamer, which I'm not, but if you're a gamer, uh, you're going to enjoy probably faster processing. Uh, much more efficient, so hopefully the, f the phone is running less uh, less hot, uh, faster, more efficient, uh, better battery life as we talked about before, so there's a lot of changes that are coming with this new chip. If you guys haven't seen details on the new chip, uh, check it out. It's pretty awesome uh, what's coming. So uh, much better efficiency. I've got that listed separately. Um, for me, it's just multitasking, uh, you know, going through the phone and having running different apps and things like that. It's similar to gaming. Uh, but this phone is, uh, if you have this phone, you're probably a multitasker or you enjoy doing it. And the phone is just going to be much more efficient at doing that. Uh, next up, it, this is a big one and this is controversial. Controversial. <laughs> it's a controversy at this point. <laughs> um, the charging. Okay, so there's some rumors. If you look at like Ice Universe and his posts, uh, he's saying that the charging is supposed to be uh, the same 25 watt fast charging. But recently, there's been information that has been released that, uh, okay, so the 30 minute charging time, I'm sorry, the, uh, what is it? Okay, in 30 minutes, the phone is now going to charge to 50%. And uh, I believe before it was like, 35%, okay, something like that. In like 30 minutes, it was like 35%. You guys, I believe firmly, and from what I'm kind of, what I've read a little bit deeper details, I believe we're gonna get the 45 watt charging. Qu quote me now, come back, I'll have to eat a shoe if I'm wrong, I think it's gonna be 45 watt charging. There is no damn way this thing is gonna be 25 watt, uh, the same old charging that we've had before on every fold and or at least on the full two and three um and that it's going to charge to 50 percent in 30 minutes 45 watts i I'm, I'm betting on it and if that if they come out with 40 watt charging and the battery life is so much better because of the the chip um that you guys i mean we could have better battery life than the s22 ultra and if that happens um and you get 45 watt fast charging uh we're in business i mean things gonna be cranking right uh, reduced hinge. This is a big one because the hinge right now is pretty significant. It, st it stands out on the entire side of the device. Uh, if we remove the hinge, or not remove it, but if we significantly decrease the hinge, uh, it's going to make it much more compact, uh, easier to hold, easier to pocket, lighter weight, um, some other things that are going to be a benefit of that lighter hinge. So uh, maybe more durability as well. Who knows? I don't I don't think it's going to be dust resistant, but maybe they figured out a way to to bring it to the next level. Uh, so redesign hinge, not, guys. We're like on 13 of things right now that have been improved. Um, it's this list is ridiculous. Also, the polished design. If you haven't seen my video on the comparison between the Fold 3 and Fold 4 case, check it out. 
Um, it is, when I held this thing in my hand, you got, we're in store for a treat. Let me just tell you that. It's so easy to look at the images online and, and create this, this thought or opinion about the phone and, um, you know, maybe start hating on the phone or say, you know, say, oh, it's not that much of a difference. When you feel it, you will absolutely say there's a difference. And I was fortunate enough to be able to feel the difference between two Aramid cases, which are those skin tight, ultra thin cases. So I can get a visual as a Fold 3 user of what the thing's going to feel like. And it's awesome. Uh, it's much more uh, sharp. Uh, the edges are much more like iPhone-esque, if you want to call it that. It feels much more premium, like a business phone or like a pro version of a phone. Uh, the, poly the design is going to be polished in combination with basically the other 13 things that I mentioned already. Uh, and lastly, I kind of cheated and said this earlier, it is going to be 10 grams lighter, I believe. Um, don't quote me, but I think... I want to say what is a quarter like a US quarter is that like five grams or something like that so I mean if you kind of wanted to see what the significance of weight is um, you know take two quarters and put them in your hand I mean we're talking you know negligible difference here but uh, I think overall the thing you're carrying it every day it's in your pocket you're you're used to your fold two or fold three anything is going to be welcome so in combination with all the things that I just listed, the thing being shorter and wider and lighter and better design, polished, less crease, better cameras, better battery life, faster charging, brighter screen, the list goes on and on. Someone out there challenge me and tell me I'm wrong, that this is not a good upgrade, that you have a Fold 2 or or maybe you're a nerd like me and have a Fold 3 that you want to upgrade. Tell me, tell me a reason you wouldn't upgrade. Like I just listed... 15 things that Samsung is polishing. Um, maybe they're minor things, but they add up, they add up. And now you've got a different device. I mean, completely improved in just about every area that we've been asking for as full geeks. Um, and just, I guess, a better pocketable phone for people that are now trying to make the transition from like an S22 or a standard slab phone. I think we're getting uh, su super close to uh, folds going mainstream. They haven't, they're not mainstream right now, but I think, you know, we're one step. And I just said, um, uh, fold, I'm talking folds, but then flip, add the flip to the mix. That's a whole nother video, but uh, that thing's going to take the cell phones by storm you guys just wait so thanks for joining me today on this little uh, rant about why i think the fold 4 is going to be uh, much more than just a tiny incremental upgrade i think it's worthwhile to uh consider if you're looking for price give it you know three months give it two three months and then price should drop so uh thanks for watching guys appreciate you if you have any questions let me know and talk to you soon